separate lives here, getting to this point, your own experiences. You, Kevin, your own experiences that made you the man that you are here today. And the same for you, Kelly. Same experiences of your own journey that made you the woman that you are here today. You may all be seated. Now that is what the Unity Canyon will represent later on in this ceremony. But there's a few things I'd like to keep with you throughout your journey would be to have the ability to listen, listen to the other, what makes them feel whole in this relationship, their desires, their wants, their needs, their dreams, which leads to the second one, learn what it takes to help fulfill those desires and needs to make them feel part of this relationship. Because after all, Kevin Kelly's relationship, I mean, uh, happiness should be more important than your own. And the same for you, that Kevin's happiness should be more important than your own. And with that in mind, I'm pretty sure I have faith that you both will be taking care of each other. So with that said, I'll ask you first, Kevin. Do you promise to love, support, honor, and respect Kelly, allowing nothing or no one to come between the both of you? Do you take her as your wife? I do. I'll ask you the same. Do you promise to love, support, honor, and respect Kevin, allowing nothing or no one to come between the both of you. Do you take him as your husband? I do. This time, can you please take the bouquet from the bride? Now turn and face each other. Taking each other's hand, Kevin, I want you to look into her eyes. You should be holding the most important thing to you. And with that, would you please repeat after me? I, Kevin, take you, Kelly. I, Kevin, take you, Kelly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Whether we are rich or poor. For what? Whether we are rich or poor. <laughs> whether we are rich or poor. <laughs> Through good times and bad times. Through good times and bad times. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Now, Kelly. Looking into his eyes, you also should be holding the most important thing to you. And if you would please repeat. I, Kelly, take you, Kevin. I, Kelly, take you, Kevin. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Through success or misfortune. Through success or misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In victory or defeat. In victory or defeat. I will love and respect you. I will love and respect you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. This time I have the rings, please. <laughs> now these rings you both have chosen. They are tokens of your love and devotion. And my hope is that as you wear these rings on a daily basis, may they remind you of this promise and the pledge that you're making here today. And in time, they will lose value and they will lose beauty. But hope that you take honor in wearing the rings for what they represent. And your friends and family will see the beauty through you. Taking hers, would you place it upon her ring finger and repeat after me? With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. And I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To call you my wife. To call you my wife. You take his token. Place it upon his ring finger. And repeat after me. With this ring. 
with this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored. To call you my husband. To call you my husband. At this time, if I could have you step over to the unity candle. I guess we should just behind you. Like I mentioned before, you both had your own individual path to this point. The experiences that brought you here. Now, when you take a hold of your individual tapers, when you light the center candle, you are now signifying that your two lives are now becoming one in marriage, creating a new path with new memories to take from here on. So if I could have you take a hold of each one of your tapers and light the center candle. Once it's lit, may you, can you please turn to the side and blow them out? That's great. <laughs> Signifying that you are now one in marriage, taking care of each other as one. Well. Like, have you stepped in front of the podium? May you please return the flowers to the bride? Now, if you love somebody, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You'll stand beside them. You'll expect the best of them. And you'll stand your ground in defending them, no matter what. There's a scene I'd like to leave with you guys, as I see couples side by side. And it says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead. But walk beside me, as a friend. Because after all, that is what you're building, a stronger friendship built upon the foundation of the relationship you already have. So I'm pretty sure you guys are both in good hands with each other. I'm pretty sure I can speak on behalf of everybody here also, that it is a joy to be part of the celebration here today, the 18th of August, a day that will now mark your anniversary in the presence of friends and family, with the exchanging of their vows, in the exchanging of your rings, by the power vested in me, it is my honor, it is my privilege to now pronounce you as husband and wife. <laughs> Kevin, you may talk to your wife, sir. <laughs> now at this time, actually, I'll take your flowers. They will now have their first day. <laughs> when I look into your eyes, it's like watching the night sky. All the beautiful sun lights, and so much they hold. It's not as bad when like other people are dancing. <laughs> <laughs>
So we'll go for the football. And then we'll go for the Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Morgan. Congratulations.